on the edge of this French town, a plea to passing doctors from the city hall. Come work here. Over 10 years, doctors serving the town have retired or left. And since the beginning of July, there's nobody left here to treat nearly 2,000 residents. We had a doctor's office that was staffed by three doctors, but now they are all retired. We can't find anyone to replace them like many towns. This is typical in the Loire and Cher department, only two hours from the French capital, but one of France's medical deserts. For every 750 residents, there's only one doctor, a shortage four times the national average. Wait times for appointments usually start around two weeks, and many doctors won't take new patients at all. It's a bit difficult to live in a place where there's no more doctors. I have to drive 15 to 30 kilometers just to see someone. I have to go out of my way. When you're young, it's fine, but for someone who's older, it's complicated. The mayor of saint romain sur cher has done what he can to keep the town's access to health care alive. Doctor recruitment is his number one priority, he says, but emphasizes that the solution isn't as simple as relying on doctors in neighboring towns. Lundi à 15h15. In the town over, Patrick Portron is trying to pick up the slack. The 55-year-old doctor is considered young compared to colleagues and has welcomed many new patients. But his schedule is full to the brim, and some days he sees as many as 35 patients. It's stressful because my schedule is not infinite. For me, I see 30, 35 patients a day. This is the maximum that I can do. I can't see anymore. Health agencies have previously offered thousands of euros to incentivize doctors to come to these regions. And the new health law will make it mandatory for internists to spend six months here. But little has changed as doctors here grow older and younger doctors remain uninterested in a rural life. But what if there was a solution that took all of these factors into account and could provide immediate relief to any French town? One French company has tried to do just that, taking the digital doctor to the next level, creating cabins just like this that function as digital doctor's offices. Thanks to the digital doctor and my invention, the doctor has the ability to see a patient face to face if they need to, but if not, they can do the same type of consultation from their main office. Wondering if this could really substitute seeing the doctor face to face, I decided to give it a try myself. Okay, so we're in the cabin. It's pretty similar to a normal doctor's office. There's a thermometer and a stethoscope. I have my French social security card. I'm going to give it a test. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Monsieur Thompson. Oui, c'est moi. Vous êtes vraiment en bonne santé. Est-ce que vous avez... And just like that, a doctor appeared on the screen in front of me. After a few questions, it was me who collected the medical readings for her to use. It started with my temperature, then my heart rate. She listened to my lungs through headphones and even looked into my ears through a tiny camera. And just like that, I have a prescription and all of the advice that I would normally get from a doctor. The company says they envision the cabins, which are already covered by Social Security, being placed in city halls, pharmacies and retirement homes. But the mayor and many others in saint romain sur cher aren't so sure about it. At least, not yet. Ryan Thompson, 